Hi guys, so I'm back on the Epic Pike and Shots again, and I've sprayed this set of sprues white, and I'll show you the reason why now. So I've got the uh, Pike and Shot to Kill a King, which is the English Civil War supplement, and on page 29, we have a rough painting guide for the various units. So... I've done the King's Lifeguard Royalists and I've done Hopton's Royalists. So I've done them too. The next one I'm going to do, I'm going to do the Markers of Newcastle Royalists. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much um, only two colours to the uniform. So I've done, I've sprayed them up white. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the, uh, the pants with the uh, Orange Ockery and obviously with the uh, pikemen I'll do the gloves I'll also do the the cross straps as well all the same colour and then that'll only give me the boots face hat and hair to do and obviously the, the pike or the muskets so I'll get on with doing the orange ockery bit now and then I'll show you what they look like after that all right see you in a bit okay guys so it's the first one done with the orange ochre. Um <coughs> These have got no uh, body armour. Um, so that's why I've just done the orange ochre straight on. But as these ones have got the uh, metal chest plates, I've painted the chest plates silver first, and now I'm going to go and do the ochre over them. So that's just the uh, first stage. If you've got the chest plates, do them first, and then do the orange ochre over the chest plates it just makes life easier than trying to paint around the orange ochre with the silver okay so i'll uh, crack on with doing the orange ochre now okay so that's all done now i've applied the orange ochre onto uh, all of the figures on the sprue next up i'm going to do the pikes and all the muskets with this um citadel morfang brown I'll also do the skin with the medium flesh tone. So I'll get the uh, the rifles, pikes and the skin done. And I'll come back again. Hi right, guys, so that's done. Uh, as you can see, they're, uh, they're coming on well now. So next up, what I want to do is I want to do the boots and the hats. And you can see the hats are like a, a bluey grey colour. And the boots are like a, like a, a dark grey. So what I'm doing is, I'm doing the boots with this German grey. And I'm going to do the hats with field blue. And then once I've done them, we'll come back and we'll have a look where we're up to. Right, so let's get the painting done. Guys, right, so that's the boots and the hats done. What I need to do now is I need to do the helmets on the pikemen and I need to do the hair on everybody all of the figures so I'm going to use silver for the helmets and I'll use a different brown probably use this uh, English uniform for the hair and then once that's done I should give them all a wash and put them on the bases and then I'll come back and show you that so helmets here, wash bases, and then I'll be back. Okay, guys, so that's it. They're done. So this is the Marquis of Newcastle, Royalist Force done. Light brown with white jackets. And uh, a quick look in the book just to show you. So there you go. So I'm happy with they, how they've turned out. And in the background there, we've got Charles himself with a standard bearer. They just need to be finished off and a wash applied. And then they can go on a 30 mil round base. And I'll add some flags. I need to add some flags to these. Also, the back one needs another set of guys with pikes. Because as with all the others, 
I'm not using these figures because I don't like don't like them like that. So all my uh, battalia will have vertical pikes. So that's it. There's another one down. And uh, on to the next one. Thanks very much for watching. See you all next time.